Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial today. Just now, I was asked by one of my friends about how to merge several photos together in Photoshop. I found it a bit tricky to explain to him without any example, so I decided to do some tutorial. So in front of you now is a final product from from four photos that emerge together so this is my 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 friend David and uh, thanks to him who invited me to his 21st birthday party all right so let's close this photo because we want to start it from scratch obviously okay first thing what you want to do is select the first photo and go to select all and go to edit copy and go to final and simply edit paste so if you look at your layer here you have two photos in one layer there and there so you can close this photo because we don't want it anymore next do the same thing for the others so go to select all edit copy close that one down so you have that left with this photo go to edit paste so you have three photos now and for the last one select all edit copy close that one down and simply edit paste now you have four photos in one layer so highlight them all simply by click the top layer and while holding your shift key click the last one so you're highlighting them all now what you want to do next is go is go to edit click auto align layers so just leave it at auto and hit ok give it some time for photoshop to align the layer to render everything the more photo you have the more time photoshop will take so it's good to have like a good RAM maybe, a good graphic card maybe, I don't know. I'm not a computer geek. Just give it some time to, to do Photoshop. Hopefully this will, yeah, we manage to get it. So you can see now, you have several photos merged into one photo. But if you see here, around around his shoulder, if I can zoom in, you can see the difference. How do we eliminate that difference? So, to, to overcome this problem, while you are still highlighting all the layers here, go to edit and click auto blend layers. Because we are doing panorama, so leave it there and just hit OK. Give it some time for Photoshop to render everything. So the more photo you have, the more time Photoshop will need. Alright, uh, okay. So, creating seamless composition, that is what we want. So, if you can see here, let me minimize that. See, now you have a very nice panorama shot. See, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, yeah. 
eight people off. So now the last step is is you want the last step before you save it is to simply crop it. So let me all right. Choose your crop tool and usually I will go to the largest crop that I can achieve. So right that will be perfect. Alright there. So just hit enter. There you go. And before you save it, just simply go to layer and flatten the image. There you go. Mm hmm. Now you're done. Thanks for watching my tutorial.